If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to brand new Dev Road to Teacher World 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now going to be taking a look at the champion deck from this past weekend's regional tournament. Stefan Ivanov won the tournament with a baby plus Cephalon with a green engine. So a lot of green decks today apparently. Um, Pretty cool deck, very straightforward deck. Um, Chaos was asking about like how to get started and whatnot. I feel like this is a really good deck to get started. Um, I feel like this is a really good deck to get started. Um, thanks so much for the follow, Chaos. It's a really good deck to get started. It's straightforward, it has one game plan basically. It doesn't need to adapt too much and it has four copies of pretty much all of the important cards, so that certainly helps with the consistency of the deck. We have Baby Blood Cephalon with Fireball Circus dealing 50 damage for every fire energy you discard from your hand. And we have four fire crystals as well for that. And we have Blazer which deals 10 damage and if we flip, I mean, and afterwards we flip a price card, if that price card is a fire energy, we actually do 50 more damage. Now I have Lost Cephalon GX as well with Bursting Burn for Confusion and Burn. We have Mind Blown, which is a potentially powerful attack as well, so we deal 50 damage times every energy we decide to send to the Lost Zone. Not ideal in this deck, but the main reason this guy is here is for Burst GX. Or for a single fire, we just immediately get to flip over a prize card, discard it, but it counts as taking a prize, and it'll usually be how we take our last prize card. And then we have Victini Prism as well with the Infinity Attack dealing 20 damage for each basic energy card in our discard pile. They don't have to be fire, but of course we only play fire energies and we play 16, so we have all of them in play. We have 2 on Victini and 14 the discard. We actually get to 1 KO a tag team. But overall, it's a very, very solid um, mid to late game attacker and replenishes your deck in order to give you access to more fire energies in the late game. Now we do rely on greens as mentioned, none of our Pokemon have abilities, so we can search for two training cards at any point we want. We also have Welder to attach fire energies, um, attach them faster than we normally would. And we also get to draw three cards that we can power up a lot of in one turn whilst getting resources. And we have the one of Rosa, which can search for B string, can search for a Pokemon, and can search for any trainer card we want. Um, <clears throat> we have four fire flints, four fire crystals, four acrobites, four custom catchers, four poke gears, so a lot of consistency. And then we have a single church ball to be able to greens for the Blacephalon, a single reason stamp to disrupt our opponent, and a single switch to be able to switch around between our Pokemon and possibly get rid of um, status, special sta status conditions. Um, three ultra space and one heat factory for stadiums that we can search for our attackers and just draw more cards. And so let's jump into the ladder and see how we can do with this baby blounds deck. All right. All right. So we're up against a potential metal deck based on the coin, which is obviously good news for this deck because we do have weakness advantage we got a hello and a heart which is very very nice <laughs> very very nice and <laughs> very nice chaos very nice you ever thought that baby blonde was going to win iver zerg i definitely did not expect that either but i mean stefan is also a really good player and i feel like 
um, that factors in as well, right? That should factor in as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and acrobite first. Grabbing the baby Blacephalon, that's pretty solid. I mean, Ultra Space is essentially more baby Blacephalons, but I can just Ultra Space later. I do whiff the Poke Gear, however, which is really, really, really bad news. And I guess I'll pass. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Your favorite Sword and Shield deck has been ADP Sajian so far. Pigrom is much smoother. That's cool. And Giant Charm puts it out of Mega Lopony range, which is huge for the deck. Yeah, I can see that being important. Why is my OP deck legal to play? Chaos, what do you mean? I'm playing with a standard legal deck. Um, Boy and Rift Man, it was uh, Fire Baby Bonds. It's a deck that you have right now in front of you. Okay, so we see the Metal Prime Pan immediately, which makes a lot of sense, right? We are super reliant on our top deck here, though. Super, super reliant on our top deck. Uh, did my opponent find Wilder at any point? He he, poke it here, then he found greens. That's not very fair. <laughs> that is not very fair. I feel like Confusion is my best bet here. My opponent doesn't care about um, paying off my energy, which makes a lot of sense. I'll go ahead and continue to thin. Um, no supporter is prized. I do have 13, 14, 15, a single energy prize. So using Burst GX doesn't make much sense here. One Fire Clint is prized, one Custom Catcher is prized. Um, my Switch is also prized. All right. So I think I definitely bench here. And I kind of want to keep the energy in my hand. I think Bursting Burn is just good here. Oh, I should not have benched because of the Oma Star. Oops. I should not have benched because of the Oma Star. I mean, it's not the biggest of deals. I will eventually lose this guy, but... Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, mirror match in the finals as well. Well, one was PG, one was Greens, but super interesting indeed. Yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to Sword and Shield. I feel like there's going to be a lot of cool things, and the Sword and Shield um, pre-release promos just got revealed today, I think, or something. And all of them are playable, which is insane. All of them are playable. Like, I expect to see decks based on all four of the pre-release promos, so that's going to drive up prizes, and I think that's going to drive up um, pre-release attendance, which is really cool, right, for the game. You've been testing Obsidian Stabilize, and you find the only thing wrong with it is energy. Is Fiona an effective counter against Obstacoon? I don't know. What does Obstacoon do? It plays with damage counters, right? Why would Fion be an effective counter? Okay, so my opponent Welder, no Omastar yet. As long as I keep my bench to two Pokemon, I should be fine. There's the energy. Well, my opponent actually tried to attack past the confusion. Even if he does, he doesn't knock us out. So we get to burn him again, do a little bit more chip damage. If he flips tail, then he's in a lot of trouble. But I feel like we're fine here. I feel like we are fine. What's the best overall card to have, Chaos? There's, there's no answer to that. Like, you need to like pick a deck. Ooh, double custom. I mean, I really don't mind this. I don't think. Ah, uh, he flips heads. He does indeed flip heads. I mean, I'll continue chipping away, right? That's fine. We'll continue to thin our deck. And we will do 20 damage. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll eventually, I'll eventually will. Um, 
I'll eventually get to trying out the new cards and everything from certain shield and building decks. Right now, I'm focused on Dallas, which is this upcoming weekend. Right, I fly Friday into Dallas. Should be fun. Oh, I mean, well, it's not the end of the world. Malolana <clears throat> will promote this, and then I simply go um, burn confuse again, which is fine. Yeah, power plant, like, we don't know how much cards will cost from certain shields, so I, like, Picarum should not be very expensive, not be a, a, should not be a very expensive deck to build, maybe, I'm not even sure. Um, okay, and then I'll go ahead and Bursting Burn you. I wouldn't mind a few turns of Flipping Tails from my opponent, right? There's the first Tales from the Burn. What's a play for Dallas? That's really hard to say. There's a lot of really good decks. Turbo Dark, Guardian, Pokemon Breeders, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Turbo Dark, Guardian, Rowlet Executor, Zoro Garb, Night March even, Reshiram Zekrom. There's just so much. There's so, so much. And yeah, buying playsets of all the new trainers makes a lot of sense, that's for sure. Okay, Metal Frank Pine and Fire Flint, interesting. Alright, there's the next person. So benching this will be important. Uh, my opponent does flip heads. We were hoping it wouldn't be so quickly. Like one turn would have been nice. Okay, to say we are in trouble would be an understatement. But we do have quite a few good top decks we can still get. And that's not one of them, though. That's certainly not one of them. So... <laughs> what the heck? We only have one fire prize, too, so that's literally zero damage. Why did I spread my energy? Like maybe at some point, like flip tails. I don't know. What a game! <laughs> what a game! There's a fire flint. I wish I had a fire flint, or I wish I had a green. I literally have done nothing this game. Ultra Necrozma, yeah, Ultra Necrozma is a potential play for Dallas. I'd say even Lucario is a potential play for Dallas, like Lucario GX. Because of all the expected dark decks. Okay, Malolana, what? Second Malolana in hand without searching for it. That is just insane. That's not a KO though, but I don't think that matters. <laughs> Pretty sure that doesn't matter. My opponent will be able to knock me out next turn. Oh, why do I keep drawing all these terrible cards? Yeah, okay. Let's just jump into another game. You know, let's just jump into another game. And whilst I do that, um, okay, so we're gonna start another giveaway. Okay, for our next code, which will be Ultra Prism, all right? So the code or the, um, the keyword will be this time, Dead Drawing, okay? So as of right now, you can start inputting Dead Drawing into the chat and you'll be entered to win a code, an Ultra Prism code. And I will direct message you, okay? Make sure you don't, uh, the caps match. Yeah, as you are seeing right now in chat, very good. Anytime I will click play to find an opponent in the meantime. All right. <laughs> Terrible draw on that last game from this champion deck. Hopefully our next match will be better. I reserve when does the Potown code expire? I don't think it will expire. Like, not for the next six months, you know? So, but definitely the earlier you use it, the better. All right. Uh, 
All right. Okay, I'm already in the game, I'm mulliganing. Just give it a few more seconds before we decide the winner of the code, all right? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and roll for the code user redirected. I will be sending you your code in just a second. Thank you so much for participating, everyone. User redirected. Uh, 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 where are you? If you could type in chat, there we go. There we go. That's the third code you've won in these past few days. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, 6HD, 4DPW. I will not say the rest of the code out loud. <laughs> All right, code has been sent. Pretty simple for you to simply copy paste. Okay, is this a bad matchup too? <laughs> Thank you so much, user redirected. That's very kind of you to say. Love having you here as well. All right, so triple emulga already. I have a chance to knock this guy out. Once again, we have no supporter, but now we have two chances at a supporter. All right. Native <laughs> Ryan, you don't want to start playing Malamar. I mean, generally, Quick Ball makes Malamar so much more consistent, right? Like, Pokemon Communication is a terrible card compared to Quick Ball. But now having Quick Ball and Treasure in order to search for things and relying on Tag Team so you're not going to get taunted on your low HP people, like, I don't know. And, like, one of the big issues with Malamar, I guess, is... Um, if they deal with your Malamars, then you can power up like your Atinas or something. But if you have a Mewtwo GX turning them down, then they need to deal with that, right? So I don't know. Okay, so we'll start off by thinning. Uh, we do have a plus seven price, which could be problematic. Um, if we flip over an energy, that would be fantastic. I should have checked how many energies I had. Okay, that's really good. Now I get a welder, so I might even be able to avoid. To avoid um, even flipping over a prize or something. Okay, that's not going to be the case, so I feel like I should attach here instead. And I'll go ahead and blazer. I really should have checked how many energy I prize, but there we go. I mean, knowing how many energy is prize doesn't change my chances of getting this KO, right? And I'll take a different prize. Oh no, <laughs> that would have been so sick to get back to back 60 damage blazers. All right, bad matchup, but we're off to a good start, so we'll take it, right? We'll take it. We'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, and Alex, <laughs> thank you so much. Five months of Twitch Prime subscription to support the channel. Thank you so much, and good morning, I guess, or good afternoon to you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, Alex. How are you doing? Um, all right, gave me, um, I don't know what that means. Please keep the chat to English or Spanish. Um, Native Ryan, you know, multiple blue people playing aggro at Dallas and Serbian. Thank you so much for the follow. I mean, there's going to be over 800 masters, it seems, at Dallas, so there's going to be literally everything. Literally everything. Oh, and Coyote, thank you so much for the follow as well. I missed that. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, what have I been focusing on recently besides breaking for Dallas? Um, well, I do a lot of coaching that takes up a lot of my time. I also have been... Um, Okay, this is a pretty solid hand. I'm gonna greens for fiery flints and a greens. Um, so I've been prepping for Dallas. I do a lot of coaching for the TTG. I've also been. Um, I want to play around resist tap a little bit, so I'm not gonna get rid of all the poke gears. Um, I'm also doing um, some After Effects courses online. 
in order to um, help me bring like extra things to the channel so I'm learning more animation um, to be able to do cooler and better things for the channel right to give it an extra wow I had so many energy prize to give it an extra like a an extra I don't know more reasons for you, for people to come and watch yeah for YouTube and Twitch all right all the energy it takes to one kilo or right to is kind of your downfall okay we'll see so far we're two prize ahead not bad um, we're gonna go for it on a one for one exchange but I feel like if I if I'm able to maintain the tempo then I should be fine the issue is that I did search for a welder and then I search for a green so that might cost me I might be my own demise <laughs> I might be my own demise um, I see your sub badge Alex <laughs> I actually see your sub badge you have a, a an orange table man, and I think when you are a six month subscriber, you'll actually be able to um, you'll have a different colored table man as well. Yep, there's a reset stamp, so good thing I didn't. I played around it a little bit by not getting rid of all the poke gears. Um, not great though. Not a great hand as a follow up. <laughs> like it's not bad, but it's not great either. I guess if I miss this KO, then I can see how I'm going to be in a terrible spot. Um, grab the plus F1. I'll Acrobike. Oof. No. What a choice. Oh my god. I don't think I can choose the Welder. I don't think I can choose the Welder. Wow, what a choice. Yeah, I think Agro could be a decent card to auto, a decent deck to have like a bad matchup, Jake. I don't think, like, it'll definitely be played, but I don't think it's gonna be super popular. What a choice. I think I have to grab the welder, you know it's gonna cost me the game. Like I need to keep applying pressure, right? I need to keep applying pressure. What a hand, what a draw. Alright, like if I don't do that then I'm most certainly going to lose, so... Oh boy. And now I'm also out of energies in the deck, so... Right? So I'll only be string for one next turn. Yikes. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this match. I'm also not going to win this match. Uh, unless I... Do I retreat here? I retreat GX, attach the energy. Then I get knocked out, that's two prizes. And then I go Welder again. But how do I ever get my last prize? I don't even have energy to get a knockout this turn. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm so dead. I am actually so dead. Okay, uh, I'll choose the fire and I'll touch it here, I guess. I am so dead here. I have three, two baby blounts, potentially three, one of which is prized. One energy left in the deck, and I'm facing down a back to back to back right you. I am dead. I am dead. Okay. And yeah, I think like going into Dallas, there's just so many decks to choose from. It's much better to go in with a deck that you are very confident in and you know how to play well rather than um, trying to like break the meta or, or something like that because you're gonna face off against so much random stuff that it's just gonna be impossible to to really like figure out everything okay i need absolutely need to top deck a fire crystal to have a very remote chance of winning this game uh that's uh, 
I guess that helps. All four fire crystals are in the deck. So what I need is... I need to draw two of them with this one. <laughs> ah, that's not it. Like, I get this knockout, but then I can't get a follow-up knockout. So, yeah. Oh, this baby plants deck. I mean, am I doing something wrong? Okay. Um, we're gonna go to our next code giveaway. Let me just set that up. And I think the keyword will be... Baby Blown. Okay. Baby Blown for the next code card. This is a Burning Shadows code card. I'm literally just pulling codes out of this bag. You know, there's... A bunch of codes in there. I just pull codes out of the bag <laughs> and see what happens. Okay, so baby blam code to participate in that, and then I'll start finding a game that we can hopefully win finally. We'll see. It beats everything except item lock and a combination of six field blowers, five odds lasers. <laughs> That's pretty good, Jake. I mean, then go for it, you know? Like in the end, there's gonna be. Um, there's gonna be all like a lot of good matchups and a lot of bad matchups. It comes down to the pairings. You might get lucky with the pairings and beat the and face the good matchups. You might get uh, unlucky and face the bad matchups. Like that's out of your control. What is under your control is which deck you decide to play and what you do with that, right? Okay, so I'm in the process of mulliganing in the game whilst more people want to participate for the code. Just type baby plan in the chat. And if we lose this game again, and based on this start, <laughs> I don't have super high hopes for this. Um we the next keyword will be baby blown sucks. <laughs> um yeah, baby blown with no caps, no no caps. And once I start my turn, there I'll stop the giveaway. Alright, so stop listening to chat and I will roll and Coyote. Coyote is the winner of the code. So I will be messaging you that in a second. In just a second. Okay. So I will go ahead and greens. And I feel like I'm gonna greens for something to discard with the fire point, like an acro bike. Um Maybe Welder is better than Greens, yeah. Probably. All right, and now I'll Fire Flint, the Acro, and the Energy. And I'll grab four Fires. My opponent says, you have a good deck, you have a good deck. <laughs> okay, I'll get to your message in one second, Coyote. Just a second, let me finish my turn and I'll type that out for you. Okay, I'll touch, I'll bench. I feel like I should bench because Big Teeny is not easily searchable. And I don't expect my opponent to be playing um, custom catchers. And there we go. All right. So I send you guys the codes so that you can immediately input them just by copy pasting onto PCGL. Okay, I have sent you the code code in. And if at any point the code does not work, please let me know. I know that can happen. Please, please, please let me know so that I can send you another one. I don't know why some, like some use codes, might have gotten mixed here. Yeah, but look, I have all these codes you know, that I have accumulated <laughs> over the last like three years of um, entry packs, prizes, whatever. But since I have the demo account, I do not use them. So I figured this is a good way to give back to. To the people who follow me and D God for you, thank you so much for the follow. My opponent's spending two switches in order to get extra cards of the Lily. And alright. Alright, so we lose our energy, not the biggest of deals. I mean, do I knock out this missile? I feel like I knock out this missile. Even though I'll have to do it with this guy. Doesn't seem that terrible. Lost owning two energy to KO's Nissel. 
Sounds like a decent trade-off to me, honestly. It actually sounds like a decent trade-off. So that Blown GX is worth ends up being like super cost effective. We take two prices for two prices and um, like eventually I'll retreat it, but or I, I might just let it go down and just go bursting burn, bursting burn, especially after seeing two switches down. Although there will be Malolana, but that's not the end of the world. I don't mind the most of the GX going down. Control Pyro just did very well on cup. Okay, <laughs> so we end up winning. So we end up winning this one. Um, I won't count that one. Let's try to find a better game. Well, let's try to find a better game here. And after this game, that will be all for Baby Blown, and I will give out another code. And this one is Hidden Fates. Baby Blown's killed it this weekend indeed, but we've had three very underwhelming games with it so far. Well, this one was, was looking good, but overall it's just not worked out that well for us. And we might be up against... Lugarmil Metal once again. What fire problem do you use though? Do you use Volcania? Alright. Okay. Once again, not the best start. <laughs> With Rosa being our only supporter. But we are going to get Mulligans and Acrobite, so that's really nice. And okay, never mind. It's actually Charizard deck. We get four mulligans, that's fantastic, especially going first. That should hopefully fix our hand. Uh, not quite. Not quite yet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the church ball. <laughs> Come on, people. Just wanna have one good game with this deck. <clears throat> Just wanna have one good game with this deck, please. I mean, yeah, control got super weakened in theory by the um, by the bands, right? You wouldn't expect to see like Peach control, Zero control, and expanded. Okay, now we're going second, and we are the one with the mulligan. <clears throat> decent hand, decent hand. Not the best, not the worst. Going second, we will be able to Blazer onto a Chansey. Like, that card looks really beautiful, but are we really up against a Blissey deck? With the Zerg setup. Okay, well, at least my opponent wants to play though, unlike my previous one. <clears throat> All right. Absol, Ditto, and Salandits. All right. You think people are scooping fast in order to? I mean, do you get points for scooping? No. Do you get points for simply scooping? I don't even know how it works. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Space. There's one Fire Prize. So, one in six chance of doing 60 damage. I'll go ahead and Fire Flame just to thin the deck, right? Just to start thinning. And then, off of these screens, definitely think I need Welder. Plus potentially fire crystal. I'm gonna lose that energy. Like I might just get KO'd next turn, right? That's worst case scenario. Mm. I honestly don't know. It might be. Is fire flame better than fire crystal? Just for thinning purposes? I guess so. 
guess that makes sense. And the music just abruptly stops. Okay, there we go. Then we'll go ahead and attach. I won't play that fire plant. I'll just go ahead and blazer reveal a price card. A fire crystal, okay. I mean, that's a good price to know. Right, that's a good price to know. No points for scooping, but just get to an easier win. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Welder and green, yeah, that was also another option to consider. The thing is, if I did that and I needed to welder to get a return hit on the Blissey, then I would have been in a lot of trouble because I would have need to I would have needed to just manually draw um, energy in order to win, in order to get a, um, a KO, right? And if I don't get that return KO, then I might just lose there. So I don't know. It was. It was a tough choice, definitely considered the greens, but I feel like Welder plus a way to guarantee more fire energies because we are going to have to attach three of the four that we have right now in order to attack would have been better. Yeah, or was better. Okay, now my opponent ends up having to retreat and using Call for Family. Pretty funny to see that. Pretty funny to see that. And Pagev, okay, thank you so much for the follow. And there's an early choreo, so my bet will be getting extra cards here. We were able to um, maintain the stadium, so that means another baby plan, and that's really good news. Go ahead and welder. Actually, two fires, and then after we see what we get, we'll figure out what to fire flint away. Which I'm thinking, no, I'm not thinking, definitely not the poke gear. Is it just two energies? It might be. Uh, I think it's ultra space and energy. Don't I go overboard on the energy discard? And, well, do we care about B3? Well, obviously we care about B-string, but... Okay, now that my deck is relatively thin, I'm still not gonna poke it here, though that's for sure. I will attach, and I will go ahead and fire gold circles. I could risk the blazer, but there's no need. Just eliminate a Pokemon, get closer to winning. That's what really matters. Um, the fire crystal is a very interesting option, that's for sure. To just grab. Um, please see has how much HP? More than 150. I think I, I need the fire crystal kind of. And I might need welder as well. Yeah, I think fire crystal makes sense. You think green spell seven is a very punishing deck to play? What do you mean punishing, girl cut? What do you mean punishing? Okay, I mean, giant heart certainly helps us, right? I assume that means a welder is coming, plus the Blissey, plus a KO. So yeah, if we don't find welder ourselves, we are in trouble. It's not the end of the world, but it's also not great. And the thing is, do I want to, yeah, 163, do I want a giant card? That 10 HP might matter, that 10, that 10 damage rather, might matter, it's one energy left that I have to discard right there. Flip a coin, okay, so four coins, he needs two heads, she needs two heads. Okay, average, right, that's fair. Average is fair. Okay, thank you so much for the follow, very kind of you. I don't know why the music's... Thoughts. Give me one second. So we can have more background music. All right. Okay. So, do I want a giant heart? If I giant heart, I'm cutting my own chances of be string. Poke here. Yikes. 
Poke gear. Means I won't get a KO this turn, most likely. Well, no, definitely. Like, I could bring up the Ditto, but I don't think that's good enough. I like grabbing these two, actually. Well, no, probably these two. Don't need more Pokemon. At least not right now. I think I'll just attach here. And then go for another Blazer. Flip over another Price card. Acrobike. So in the end, the Fire Crystal doesn't end up mattering. What's the ability again? Oh, you remove special positions. Okay. Now, my opponent does have a pretty big hand right now. That Uri core is super, super annoying. So what I could possibly do next turn is go greens for reset stamp plus stadium, establish another baby clown. Yeah, I guess I didn't need the welder. Well, I do need it in case my opponent doesn't get a KO. And by attaching to the Ditto, that pretty much indicates that he's not going to, she's not going to get a KO. So that's good. Right? That is good news for us. That is definitely good news for us here. All right. All right. Okay. So we see a simple draw path here. Gonna go ahead and welder onto the active. No reason not to continue getting prizes and KOs, but actually, well, I am one energy short. I am one energy short to KO the record, and I think that's a solid KO. Do not give my one extra card advantage. I think this is solid. This is a solid game plan right here. Also get two for one, which is great, right? Uh, cherish. Well, like I should establish this. And real smitty, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, look, I'm gonna fetch this. I'm gonna need three heads, so not likely. And there we go. Okay, so I don't need my acrobike, and I get to choose two prizes, so I'll leave the acrobike there. Fire, that's nice. And Poke Gear, that's kind of nice. Not the best, not the worst. Okay. 160, but Blazer was actually pretty important indeed, Alex. Okay, so we see a Wilder right off the bat. Hello, Real Smitty. Thank you for being here. Thank you for following. Any advice for a new player? Well, how new? <laughs> if you're completely new to the game, then I would definitely suggest going into the theme deck ladder and um, playing to learn about decks and whatnot. If you are, um, if you are looking for um, for more competitive advice, then watching Table Month always helps. And limitless TCG for decks. Um, but yeah, okay, not a not a week. Okay, so definitely um, start off by um, playing, getting enough coins to get a good team deck. I believe the Charizard team deck is one of the best. Maybe chat will correct me on that. Um, and then playing in the ladder, building up a collection so that you can eventually go to the limitlesstcg.com website and copy a standard deck from there and start um, getting more practice in and getting more competitive. All right, so we definitely want a B-string to be active. That energy we got was actually pretty important. And then we'll go ahead and giant hearts away the fire flint. I won't be needing that anymore. <clears throat> is Rosa better than Greens? It might be. No, it's not. Never mind. What am I saying? Greens gets me <clears throat> Stamp plus Fire Crystal. My Stamp is prized. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Okay, so then I'll definitely grab the Rosa. Okay. 
Do I expect my plan to go down next turn? Maybe. Quite possibly. Which is fine, right? It's not the end of the world. I will get 10 damage counters in return. That's fine. One, two, three, four. That's 200 damage. 10 damage counters back. That means only one flip for Bleezy. Which, with four energy, she was already flipping for average, so that's fine. So which one is reset stamp? Left or right, chat? You decide. Left. Type L for left, R for R in the chat. And help me find my reset stamp. It's on you, chat. You have this responsibility. You have this responsibility. L. How, how do you get free travel cards, Real Smitty? Um, by inputting codes, yeah? After this game, I'm about to give away this code, okay? We have two L's and one R. Um, you can buy the real life booster packs. Each one comes with a pack, a code card, and you input that code card, and then you open a virtual booster pack. Okay, everyone wants, well, four to one on the L. There we go. Thank you, chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, chat. That is very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for helping me get that price card. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, chat. Okay, real smitty. So if you stick around, yeah, after this game, I will be giving out this code myself. Okay, so then all you need to do is input the code that is on the other side of this um, code card and you will get the equivalent, like if you buy a Hidden Fates booster pack in real life, you will get a Hidden Fates um, online booster pack. Or you can also go to potonstore.com, which is one of our sponsors of the channel, and they sell you code cards, okay? Ooh, this changes things. Um, so on potownstore.com, you can purchase code cards and you can use the table one code for 5% off. Yeah, for 5% off on your final purchase. And you can buy any amount of code cards you want. You get them delivered directly onto your email. Okay. Huh, is the sponsors thing not working? I don't think it is. It's not looping, right? There we go. Okay. So my opponent flipped a single heads. Um, I'll burn this. I have no more energy left. I have two fire crystals left though. Well, I don't mind this too much. Uh, is my last prize? No, it's not. Okay, I have one welder left. I have poke gear. Do I simply take like I just burst GX here, right? Yeah. All I need to do is burst GX here. And The Acrobite could be a good card if I get reset stamps, so I'll discard this, which is a welder. Too bad. <laughs> well, actually, what was I saying? Like, neither prizes were relevant. The last prize I take, I can't use, and the prize I discard, I also can't use, so... I guess I should have left that Mr. Welder there. <laughs> Poton Store is an okay site to use indeed. They support my stream, they are a sponsor of the channel. Potonstore.com gets you immediate email delivery of any codes you want onto your email. Um, and you get a discount if you use Tailmon code. So not only are you supporting the channel, you also get a discount for yourself. And then they know that um, you are purchasing codes because you saw them on Tailmon. So it's a win-win for everyone, right? You get codes at a cheaper price and Poton Store um, gets to sell and they know that advertising through me is working. So it's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, it's a win-win for everyone. 
Okay, so my friend will go ahead and use Fiona here. Once again, not the biggest of deals. We're gonna see a welder. Ever now only needs one head slip. So now if I get welder off of my heat factory, so I'll draw a card, I have 11. Then I heat factory, I go down to eight. So as long as welder is not the bottom card, I should be fine. Very F, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, Poton Store sells you the codes. You can't buy single cards on eBay, that is against the terms of service. Um, you can't sell or buy single cards from the game, but you can buy and sell codes. Mm -hmm. All right, and double Poke Gear like that should definitely get me there, right? That should definitely get me there. So I'm gonna giant card just in case to double check. Yeah, one welder, 11 cards left. So I'll go ahead and heat factory. I have two chances for welder not to be bottom card. Three chances. And with the acrobite, I am guaranteed welder not to be the bottom card. Oof. This was close. Um, not against a very serious deck though, right? Not against a very serious deck. Uh, the 10 damage from previous placers doesn't end up really mattering because I can deal 200 damage here anyways. And there's a victory. All right, so code giveaway time. Code giveaway time. Make sure you are ready. The keyword will be Potown, okay? The keyword will be Potown. In order for you to win this code, all you need to do is type Potown in the chat and, oh wait, what? There you go. All you need to do is type Potown in the chat in order to win this code. No caps, Potown. Big thanks to our sponsor, Potown Store, and of course, Mealy Buds Gaming and TCG Player as well. And let's see who gets this. You know what? We're gonna have two codes, okay? We're gonna have two codes. We're gonna have two winners for this last one, okay? I have two winners for this last one. So make sure you type Potown on, 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 on the chat. Make sure you type Potown on the chats and we will have this ready to go. Okay. There's a few of you, so I'll give it a few more seconds. For those of you who, have not, who might not have been paying too much attention so that you can participate. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. 16 people. We'll give it a few more seconds. And then we will do the giveaway. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Our first winner is Ducate. Okay, Ducate is the winner of one of the codes. Congratulations, Ducate. And the next winner will be, if I should stop looking at the chat, the next winner will be Real Smitty. There you go. <laughs> this is pure coincidence. Okay, Real Smitty, congratulations. Okay. Congratulations to both of you. I will be messaging you those codes right now in just a second. And that will be all for the baby Blastephalon deck. Okay. Thank you so much to everyone who watched. I know it's a shorter stream, but I do have a lot of other things. I actually have homework for the first time in my life. I have well, not for the first time in my life. What am I saying? <laughs> I haven't had homework for the last 10 years, but I am back to having homework. So I will get those codes sent out to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to everyone who hung out here. I intend to keep this code giveaway pretty much every day that I stream. So if you're watching, you'll always have a chance to win one of the code cards in a very simple way, right? Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like. 
if you're watching on YouTube and I will catch you next time. All right. Thank you so much and bye-bye.